Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So there's a makeup look I want to recreate that I did on my Instagram. Um, and it was just meant for, so I'm doing 31 days of kind of Halloween looks on my Instagram. And I was doing, doing one look where it was involved just stitches across my face. And I did a quite a simple makeup look, kind of pink tones. And I actually really liked it. And I, so I thought, you know, I'm going to recreate it. It's a very soft glam look but a slightly bolder lip um and yeah i just really liked how the makeup turned out and when i did it i was kind of like in two minds whether i really wanted to ruin it with stitches but i did and put it on my instagram so i'm going to recreate this look today um because yeah i just really liked it so if you're interested then please keep on watching so starting off with primer i'm using my hydro grip primer as always Then as always go with my Hint Beauty Concealer in Light. So I'm not doing foundation, I'm just doing concealer in the areas where I need to and then just drag it out into other areas. And as always go ahead and set that with powder. Okay, next into my Lily Lolo Sculpt and Glow Contour Kit, taking the contour side and just warming up my skin. And then whilst I'm here, I'll take the Champagne Illuminator and give my skin a nice glow. So I am planning on doing a few Halloween looks over on my channel here. Um, so if there are any, I'll only do like probably two or three because I know not everyone's a fan of Halloween. So if you do want me to do some looks, let me know kind of what you want to see. Or if you see one on my Instagram that you like the look of that you want me to actually recreate um, in a video, I can definitely do that because I've just... I'm going to go in with a little bit of blush, take a minute and fab blush, so I'm going to go in with this one here. Just a little bit. I'm just going to quickly go ahead and fill in my brows. Okay, so I've already gone ahead and prepped and primed my eyes with my Lily Lolo Eye Primer. And the palette I used was the Ether Rose Quartz palette. And I only used three shades from this. And it was a very simple eye look, but I just loved how it turned out. And paired with the lip colour that I've got, it did look really pretty. So first of all, I haven't got my... Oh, the name's on the back. Um, so I'm going to go in with Scorpio first. Just on a fluffy brush. I'm literally going to take this through the crease area. and blend it up as a transition. So yeah, it's a very simple look, but I just loved how it turned out. And like I said, only three eyeshadows, because I was doing quite a quick look, because I knew I was going to put like stitches on and stuff like that, but I just loved how it turned out, so I thought I'd recreate. Okay, and then what I did is I took some of grounding here on a pencil brush. And I pop this onto the outer portion of the lid. And then use the brush I used for the Scorpio shade and just buff it in. So it gave some depth to the outer corner. And the final shade I went in with was um, Rose Quartz. And I just used my finger for this to pack it on. I've purposely avoided the lid portion with eyeshadow just so the sticks a bit better and just shows up a bit more. And when I first tried out this palette, I thought Rose Quartz possibly was the most, out of all of them, kind of more underwhelming shade. But actually, 
I've been using it a bit more and I do quite like its softness. And I just think it creates a really nice soft glam instead of that really intense shimmer to the eye. I'm going to take some champagne illuminator and just pop that in the inner portion. And to finish off the eyes, all I did was add some mascara to the upper lashes only again. Okay, so finally it's lips, and like I said, I went with a slightly bolder lip, and it's a lip colour I haven't used in a while, and I really love the combination. So it's from Nablo, it's their liquid lipstick in Cornell, 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 I don't know. It's a beautiful deep kind of pink purple colour. And that is his makeup look complete. Like I said, it was very simple on the eyes, quite a bold lip. And when I did it for the Halloween look, I loved it how it turned out. And I did, like I said, I wasn't sure about ruining it with the stitches in the end, but I did. And it did, the look actually turned out really cool. I'll leave a picture on the screen here. But yeah, um, I definitely wanted to recreate it because I love the colour combination and stuff like that. So um, something quite simple, easy, soft glam makeup look. I really hope you enjoyed. Leave any requests down for future videos and I'll see you in my next video.